Good night, UNC family. Good night, UNC family. Good night, UNC family. We want to say good night to our political leader on her way, all members of the panel, all UNC activists, all brothers, sisters, friends, family, well wishers to Trinidad and Tobago. A pleasant, pleasant, pleasant good night. I am Alderman Creambeard. December the 17th, the reality of life that many of us are facing hit my home. When I lost my wife and my brother-in-law to crime on December the 17th at court, it still is a daunting experience to witness, to understand, to feel. Every day you still go through the pain and the hurt. Every day I watch my three-year-old son and have to answer the question, where mommy? Why mommy not coming home? Why mommy not waking up? That, my brothers and sisters, is something I don't wish for anyone. The question after that I ask is how much people that this happened to on a daily basis that no one says anything that we just allow to pass that we allow to escape it is sad it is saddening i cry i, I cry not just for my family but for the families that had to go through this and yet this government is clearly, 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 clearly not interested. The process, the feeling that you had to go through, the pain, the things that you would read on social media about your loved ones, who you know waking up hard every day, going to work, doing what they have to do, the innocent. We're talking about the innocent being gone down. And yet we quiet. Yet the minister of security, the, sur the sad and the hurtful part, brothers and sisters, that is the MP for the area that they were born in. And not a word, not a comment, not even a visit. The councillors, nothing. This is sad. How much families must go through this every time? For we as a people to feel something, to understand something. To actually stand strong together and actually fight against this. Because it's not getting better. It's getting worse. So each day you wake up, every day now you wake up and you, you have to realize who gone again. It hit my home. So I understand not from a political experience but from a family man. When you go home, nobody's home. Where's the justice? The system by itself creates you to get tired. So you don't even want to stress to fight it because the system's so long. You charge the man, yeah, cool, nice. And then after that you hear, you hear nothing about it. It dies. But I am here, brothers and sisters. This shall not continue. I am not just fighting this for my family, but I want to fight it for love until east, love until west. Because it comes as a, it's a love until thing, it's, it's a sour thing. It's a, once you're in the east-west corridor, it doesn't make sense. They, they don't care. Plainly, brothers and sisters, they don't care. It's sad. Have you ever or could you ever think about you going home? Preparing to go home and then you had to stop short. Because your wife died and lie down on the ground like a dog. And no one even bothers to care because they term them as a criminal or a bandit. And that, my brothers and sisters, to some in the government is okay. Tonight I say it's not okay. We're not taking that. We're not taking that time for us to actually stand up 
and do something about this because it is hitting our homes. It's not just every, it's our homes. It's your home, it's my home. How safe do you feel? How safe do you really feel? When they are comfortable with the security and telling you outside safe. Outside safe for you because you have your security, but outside not safe for me. Outside not safe for my brother. I don't know if who coming behind me because they killed my wife. I, I don't know. How safe am I? If something has happened to me, what, I'm, what, what is going to happen to my three-year-old son or orphan? You throw him in somewhere about? Come on. The security minister needs to be removed. He needs to be removed. The government of Trinidad need, and Tobago needs to be removed. Because I remember clearly, in opposition, he said, if a government cannot see about crime, then they don't deserve to be in government. Now you refuse to go. Crime rate is skyrocketing, and you refuse to give up. While we, your nation, killed, robbed, murdered, gone down, and you talking about security plans with America. You, you, you talking security. We don't need talk no more. Talk done. Talk done. We need some sort of action. Not just as a people but as a nation. We need to feel safe. We need to feel comforted. We need to be able to walk the streets and say okay I could reach home safe. You stand up too late in a certain area. You want to call a TT right here because you're unsafe. You don't know. When would this end? When would they actually meet with the United National Congress and talk crime? Instead of blaming Kamala, blaming Kamala, start to do something and see that you're blaming yourself. You're pointing at her, but what are you doing? We still dying. The murder rate's still raising, and all we keep hearing is complaints, but we still jam in. We comfortable as a people. But we in the UNC not comfortable. We very uncomfortable. Because we see the need. Where I represent Lavantel East Mova, it's hard. So we, uh, I understand now when our family and our mother say my son was innocent. Maybe they really was innocent. Who am I to say now because they said my wife was a murderer and she came to rob. But every day she got up and I dropped she to work and then I picked she up. So then now I questioning now the police force. Because clearly Earl, I don't understand what she doing. She don't understand not one thing she doing. So now I even more scared. So then now the question is how much guilty guilty? And how much innocent innocent? Because the police was innocent until they realized he damn well guilty. But we ain't hearing nothing about that because he in the force. But here in the UNC, we say justice for all. What good for the goose? Good for the gander. And we're not taking that just so. My brothers and sisters, it's time we stand up. It's time that we acknowledge that our nation is going down a road that if we don't catch it, it will be too late. They say there's a missing generation. We had to find them. We had to find that generation and bring it back to some sort of stability. That is what we need. We need not just to go to church and pray. Because as a bishop, I just go to church and pray every Sunday. So prayers alone care work. We need to put prayer with action. Because the Bible declares prayer without work is dead. So that ain't making sense that you're only praying but you're not working. We had the faith, but faith without work too is still there. So I had the faith that it go get better, but I had to put in some kind of work. And this government not putting in no work. It is plain that it okay. It is plain Trinidad and Tobago, UNC family, that they don't care nothing. Once they are right, that's all mattered. But today, remember me. Remember that we can't let this continue to happen. 
At 35 years old, I never expect to bury my wife. She not sick. By gunshot. Innocent. How hard that is. Sit down where you is for two minutes and just kind of think how hard it is to comprehend just that. One day you're going home to your family and then next day you're one minute you're, you're, you're talking on the phone and, and then next minute that's it. Time for us to wake up. Time for us to understand that something is wrong and this government do not care. Let us stand together. Let us stand together. Let us stand together. They say together we stand. No, no. Divided we fall. If we don't stand together then who would stand for us? Stand with who is standing for you. And when they stand, make sure and put your best foot forward and walk and stand with them nation. The nation crying. The young ones dying. The old ones dying. Crime is so much. And I just crying. We, we ain't talking about the social and the economic problems. We're talking about the thing that have us scared right now. Think about it. Trinidad and Tobago, think about it. Let us now stand and ensure our future. Stand and ensure that something needs to happen and something needs to come from this. We can't take it no more. We can't go down the road right through with this what kind of life we would have what kind of state we would have no one expects that we know that some at some point you have to die but the way it is done and what happens after that is most important and once this government can't reach out to people and actually become a human could they inhumane so we need some sort of humans to manage this country. We need a human that understands the pain of losing a child and the pain of losing a family member, the pain of being hungry, the, the trials to get your child to go to school. We need a human that actually understands what it is to be alive and what it is to have life. That is why we need Kamala Pasad Bisesa. She understands. So today, brothers and sisters, UNC family, let us stand strong together. Let us fight this fight. And together, only together, not divided, not separated, but together, we could do this. We have this. We could do this and we could change this system right from where we are by just this finger when the time comes. When the time comes, let us show them that we don't accept this and we're not accepting it anymore. We tried our best. But we can't no more. So my brothers and sisters, stand strong. Stand together. And may God bless you. May God keep you safe. May God guide us. May God cover us. And continue to be our guide and watch us when we call. My brothers and sisters, Tonight, I ask you to join with us, stand with us, stand with your MPs, your councillors, your older men, and let us do this together. Let us do this together. UNC family, I love you all from the bottom of my heart. May God bless and keep all of us a pleasant good night.